Hi, this is Mary Adams. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to create an inventory of your organization's key capitals. This post is a continuation of, of a number of posts where I've been talking about the concept of sustainable value creation. This is the idea that underlies the integrated thinking and reporting movement and it basically says that organizations use many capitals, some of them owned, some of them not, uh, but they use these capitals to drive performance and profit in the short term. But they, this use implies also a responsibility to preserve and protect and hopefully enhance these capitals over the long term. So in my last post I talked about three steps that you can take to apply these ideas in your own organization. The inventory, map, and measure. Today I'm just going to talk about inventory. And I'm going to use a, a worksheet that I've used in my own work for a long time. And if you've been paying attention to um, this idea of the multi multiple capitals, uh, you'll recognize these forms of capital. You'll notice, though, that I don't include financial capital here. Um, it's not something you really need to model. Uh, everybody already has pretty good information about their money. So uh, we focus here on the things that are more intangible. and. While you may have inventories of some of these in different parts of your organization, uh, it's rare that these are all in one place to draw a single picture of your value creation system. And so this is a great place to start. Um, in each of these boxes, I recommend putting three to five items. It's like the most important resources in each of these categories. If you wanna get started in filling this out, I recommend starting in the upper left hand corner uh, you know, who are your customers? Uh, moving to the right, you know, how do you create value for them? What's your value proposition? Uh, then what are the core processes that you've developed to deliver on that value proposition? That's one of the really key um, uh, resources of every organization today are, are processes. It, it may be production, it may be service, it may be project management. Whatever it is you do, to uh, deliver on your value proposition in a consistent way. Then uh, every organization needs key competencies from its people, and so listing those here uh, are very helpful and important. And then, of course, what kind of natural resources do you use? And then you can go down in the next rows and fill in more about your uh, different kinds of partners, suppliers, uh, uh, society, uh, governments, uh, things like that, your stakeholders. Uh, when you see this table, I've been talking about strategic capital and how uh, I find it to be a very useful concept. It really is best understood when you see it in this table. Uh, if I uh, had the other columns without the strategic capital, it's like the heart or the soul would be gone. Um, it's the strategic capital is kind of the operating logic. It explains why all of these other pieces are here and it ties them together. And it includes culture, which is something that often gets overlooked, but in many ways is the longest lasting asset that an organization has. So once you fill this out, you're gonna be able to move to the next steps of mapping and measuring. And I'll talk about that in future posts. In the meantime, uh, this table that I was just sharing is available in downloadable form uh, as a worksheet in a Word document. And I welcome you to visit smarter-companies.com to download it. And if you wanna make sure you catch the next episode, please subscribe to this channel on uh, YouTube. And I hope to see you again soon, thanks.